G'day, Braden. Uh, Nick here from News Talks UB in Christchurch. I guess, first of all, just after um, not being involved in that one against Moana, how has it been to, to recover and, and be ready for this, uh, what presents as a pretty big, big challenge against the Chiefs? Yeah, it was a good game to watch. It was a bit of arm wrestle on the weekend, so it was good to see the boys come through that. All right, and awesome to see uh, Moana Pacifica put on a good challenge. Um, yeah, like I say, it's a, it's a big sort of five week shift coming up, so. Um, boys have definitely been in their bodies right, looking for a big challenge coming up this week and, and the following couple. For you personally, given the sort of injury history you had in a, a long layoff uh, mid-2020 into, into last year, does, does much change when you come into these big blocks where, where these big uh, New Zealand derbies just come at you thick and fast? No, nah, not too much. I think um, sort of hopefully I'm past that sort of period uh, uh, of you know, recovered well and, and now it's just, just about staying on top of my body and, and just like any other um, player, just getting the recovery after games and after trainings and those, all that sort of things. And where do you feel like you're at with, with your game at the moment? Obviously it's the, just a couple of games in, but um, give us your assessment. Yeah, obviously uh, first couple of games always a bit, a bit dustier than you would like, but um, no, I feel like I'm growing nicely and, and obviously a big season ahead, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it was a return of the, um, your little general playmaker, Richie Moanga, briefly on the weekend. Um, all signs pointing towards him being involved uh, at a greater level this week. What's it been like him being back in the camp and what, what's the influence that ha he has on the team, both on and off the field? Yeah, obviously he's a, he's a big leader for us. Um, brings a lot of energy and training, um, a lot of experience as well. Um, he's got that calm mindset, so um, he's been good to be back in the camp. He's been in the camp, um, uh, you know, helping Ferg and all that sort of thing, but um, no, it's good to have him back and hopefully puts on a show again for us. And, and just on the Chiefs, particularly the, the midfield battle, um, it's pretty much all blacks against all blacks with, with Quinta Pyre and, and Anton Leonard Brown. I mean, how much of a you know, individual challenge is that something that you and, and Dave in particular relish? Yeah, it's always something you look forward to. Obviously, we spent uh, a bit of time together over on the tour last year, so got to know them pretty well, and, and we're looking forward to having a ding-dong battle against them. And, and just from a, a, a defensive standpoint as well, um, I'm just looking back, I think it was that Hurricanes game, was just um, you know, really really holding them out. Is that something you've, you've taken extra pride in this, this year in, in, in terms of you know, stamping your mark? Not only, obviously, it's well known how many tries the Crusaders can score, but um, you know, keeping teams out as well. Yeah, I think that's always something um, you know the Crusaders look for, as, as, as well as every team. Um, there's, a, there's, that, there's that saying that defense wins championships, so you know you can score as many tries as you like, but um, it's about holding the other team out as well. Thanks. Lynn. I'm oh, okay. Thank you very much. We've got Lucy. Hey, Brayden, Lucy from Utah. Uh, just on the Chiefs, what have you made of your performance so far this season and what are some of the pen points that you guys are honing in on this week? Yeah, obviously, um, the Chiefs are always pretty physical up front, uh, really good at the breakdown, uh, as, well as, as well as an exciting back three. So, um, obviously, we're going to have to, to meet them up front first and then um, take care of our breakdown and, and be careful when we kick to them and all that sort of thing. Um, presenting a strong line. And obviously it is the repeat of last year's final, does that add any pressure for you guys as a unit? I think every time we come, come up against the Chiefs it's always always an arm wrestle, we always expect the best of them so um, I don't think it changes too much, we've always got that mindset coming in uh, against them. And just lastly from there, you've been on the road for a while now, but back to uh, Christchurch uh, for a home game, you must be looking forward to running out in front of some home fans. Uh, albeit a reduced number. Yeah, I mean, it's always uh, good to have some, some fans out there, our, our uh, season pass um, fans and all that sort of thing. So it'll be good to be back at home. Um, it's been a while for me personally as well. So um, we're looking forward to getting back into Orange Theory and, and having the flames and, and the night sky and all that sort of thing. Cheers, Brad. Three. No, and I think Rob and Joe have both left the call, so that might be it. Um, if there are no last questions for Brayden. 
I just said one more, Sean Salah, just, Braden, just on going from playing under the roof in Dunedin with the pace is, you know, frenetic, getting the balls in play, you know, a fair bit more than what you might expect at, at Orange Theory. Does much change from that perspective in terms of your preparation going into what might be um, a slightly more um, or slower slower game in some, some respects? I think um, the only time it really slows up is when it gets a bit wet. Um, Hopefully it's going to be a good night, so um, we're still expecting some fast footy. Um, obviously the, the Chiefs like playing with tempo as well, so I don't think too much will change in that, in that respect. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to some exciting fast tempo footy.